Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video. And today I will show you guys how to create the best custom setups on the home screen of your iOS 14 device, from transparent widgets to icons without labels. All that can be done, of course, easily on iOS 14. All you have to do is just follow the steps that I will show you guys in this video, and you can create one of these amazing setups on the home screen of your device. All right, you can see this right here. This setup is the one that I will show you guys how to create. Of course, you can change it around. You can use another wallpaper, you can use different widgets there. Of course, transparent widgets. It's not hard to make them. It seems hard, but just follow a few simple steps and you will be able to create them for your home screen as well. So, first of all, you need to download two different apps that I will leave linked right down below in the description. Widget and also you'd get which is an app that allows you to create blank spaces on the home screen of your device and also you have to use that to create the transparent widgets now of course what you want to do is first of all make sure you go ahead and set up a wallpaper that you want to use for that setup go to the photos app and once you go to set up your wallpaper what you need to do is of course tap on use as wallpaper and just make sure you zoom out all the way and you have perspective zoom turned off then go ahead and set it right here on the home screen now what we need to do is go ahead and download the widgets now the widgets i use them from widget this is the app that allows to download these beautiful widgets as well as make them transparent of course by using a few simple tricks now you can find here a few different widgets that the app has to offer or you can just tap here to join the community and right here will find beautiful widgets that you can download for your device and of course some of them are transparent which makes that makes them look really really cool on the home screen so here we have one we can go ahead and see if we can find a QR code for this. And of course, then go ahead and download this. So let's just find another one here. Okay, let's try this one. So here is the QR code. So what you need to do when you want to get one of these widgets, of course, you check there for the QR code. And this is the QR code that you need from this app to actually add this widget to your device. You add this to your photos and then go back to the widget app, tap on import widget. And from here, just tap import QR code from album. It takes you to the photo library. You tap right there. And here is where it will import the widget on your device now here's the sim the trick that you need to use in order to make this transparent you can see there that image in the background we have to have that part of the wallpaper on the home screen where we want to place this widget so in this case if we want to place it right here we have to have that part of the wallpaper to set it on the widget so it looks transparent now here we have to use the yid get app first of all go ahead and go to the edit mode on the home screen go to the blank page and take a screenshot right here and then what you need to do is go ahead open the yid get app make sure you load that screenshot by tapping create load it right here and tap the save button right there just wait for this tap the save button right here and it will save this wallpaper and it allows you also to save parts of the wallpapers on the gallery of your device so right here we have this one so tap right there on the three dots and tap on save cropped images now cropped images are these ones so the large ones these are the large widgets so the first part of the wallpaper and the second part of the wallpaper so if you want to put the widget at the top you go ahead and save the top part if you want to put it at the bottom you go ahead and place it at the basically choose the bottom part now if you want to create a widget that is smaller you will also have the options here you can see you have the three medium ones and you have the small one so based on the place where you want the widget to be on the home screen you save that part of the wallpaper so let's tap to save here and that will be saved under the camera roll so just like that tap save and now we can go back to widget so when we go back to widget on the widget here all we have to do is tap edit and just go ahead and tap here once it's selected you can see the outline here once it's selected completely you tap on image and tap here image library and you go ahead and just choose that part of the basically the wallpaper that we just saved with the other app and you can see now we have saved that we can go ahead and tap on confirm and now go to manage and let's place that widget here so let's go to the large widgets tap here and choose this one and now if we go to the home screen and we will be able to add this as a widget and you will see it will look transparent because the background of the widget is exactly this part right here so let's go ahead and, and add that widget 
So here we have the widget. If I just add it right here, you can see now it looks transparent because the background of the widget is exactly that part of the wallpaper that we just saved. So this is how you can create these amazing transparent widgets on the home screen of your device. Really, really cool. And of course, will make your device stand out and look totally different. How about these icons that have no labels on them? Well, you can create these easily just like you do with every other icons from the shortcuts app so you go to shortcuts and right here will have of course a shortcut that will launch an app if you don't know how to do that you tap the plus button you tap on add action tap on scripting right there open app and you choose here an app that you want to open with this shortcut so if you tap right there and tap next basically add a name here so let's just go ahead and add this so here we have the app now, the shortcut that will open the app. So here it is. So what you need to do right now is just go ahead and share this, add this to the home screen. So when you go to add this to the home screen by tapping the little share button here, when you want to add an icon, it will ask you here to basically add a custom icon. So we can choose a photo here to add it as a custom icon. So let's just choose one here. Let's just choose this one. And for the name here, if you just try to leave it blank, it won't work. So it won't allow you to leave this place blank. What you need to do is go to this website that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video and just go to this part right here. You can see where it says empty text. Make sure you select that right there and go ahead and copy that. So once you go to the shortcuts app, you go ahead and paste that. Okay, so I've copied that also. Let's just try once more. So you go ahead and just copy that middle part right there. And now you can go ahead and add this as the name here. So just paste that and you can see now it will accept that. Tap on the add button, tap done right there. And now it will be added to the home screen without a name. So basically that part is blank. This is how easily you can create custom icons that have no labels. Really, really cool. And of course it makes the home screen of your device look much, much cleaner. Now that you have created the transparent widgets and the icons without labels, of course, you want to create those blank spaces anywhere on the screen of your device. Well, to do that, you will have to use the same app that I just showed you guys. YitGet allows you to do that. So just go to the widgets panel and add the widget where you want to leave the blank part. So if you want to leave like the medium widget part here, you can add it here or a smaller part, you can add a small widget. So let's just go ahead and try that. Go ahead and add a widget from YitGet. So here we have the YitGet widget. So we have small, medium, and also the large one. So based on how much blank space you want to have there, you can go ahead and add these widgets. So let's just go ahead and add this one. So you can see right there, it will create the blank space. But what if we want to add that in the middle right here? Just go ahead and drag it down here. But you can see that looks totally different because that's the top part of this wallpaper. So let's just go ahead, tap on edit widget and choose the middle part and now it will change to the middle part. So if you go to the app, you can see right here, we'll see the wallpaper that is in use right now. So if you change, if you have like other wallpapers here that you have cropped and you change to that wallpaper on the home screen, then you can go ahead and choose here which wallpaper you want to use. So you tap right there to use a different wallpaper. So this is how you can go ahead and create custom widgets without a background, basically transparent widgets, custom icons, without labels as well as blank spaces on the home screen of your ios 14 device so that's basically it for this video guys hopefully you learned something hopefully you have basically kept up with all the steps and you will be able to create these amazing setups on the home screen of your device again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more every link that you need will be right down below in the description of the video and i'll see you guys on the next one